This is actually a very powerful question. The, the fundamental issue here is our definition of what is good and what is bad. Allah Azza wa says, it may be that you really like something, but it's harmful for you. And it may be that you really detest something, but it's good for you, right? But this, <coughs> this reliance on Allah, acknowledging that Allah knows better what's better for me than even I know for myself. And that He cares more for me than anyone in the world would care for me. Allah loves His, his believing slave more than anyone else will love him. This is actually the promise of Allah. Yuhbibkumullah. So when Allah loves, you can't compare that love with anybody else's. There's no comparison. So first of all, understand Allah is not putting us through anything out of spite or hatred or abandonment or anything like this. And I could tell you a much worse scenario. You have, I mean, there, there are many, but just to pick a few, you have the Messenger wasallam. I mean, who will Allah love? Who does Allah love the most on the face of this earth is His Messenger. He gets revelation and he delivers it to the people and he loves to get revelation. It is the most beautiful experience for him. But then there's a period where he stops getting revelation. There's a gap. There's a gap. And the people who he constantly invites through revelation, they say, so uh, nothing new today? What's going on? Running dry? Oh, your Lord doesn't like you anymore? They start taunting the Messenger they start taunting him and hurting his feelings, really deeply hurting his feelings. And still no revelation is coming, no revelation is coming. Now imagine the, the sense of concern and the fear. Maybe Allah is in fact disappointed with me. Maybe I did do something wrong. Allah reveals consolation and He says, مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى Your Lord didn't abandon you and He didn't leave you aside. He's not displeased with you either. So Allah sent him consolation. The first thing to note for a believer who's in distress, in worldly distress, your real consolation is in the Qur'an. You read the word of Allah sincerely, sincerely, and you will found, find counsel in it. You will find advice in it. You will find comfort in it. But it is at that very moment when we are in distress that Allah really tests who are the people who believe and who are the people who only believe when times were good. So this is really, Allah puts us through these tests so we can show our reliance on Him and then He opens doors that you couldn't even imagine. And we have to have good expectations from Allah. This is what makes the Muslim different from other, other people.